going to be my fried chicken, y'all guys. It's going to be delicious. It's Friday, the 25th of March. <laughs> Friday, the 25th of March. Hmm. 2022. <laughs> Just in case you are not keeping track, it's 2022, guys. The year just start. It's the 25th of March. I seriously cannot believe it. The 25th of March. 2022. Oh my gosh. But never you mind. It's a really bright, sunny day today. It feels like it's actually summer. It's unbelievable. And there's so much stuff that is happening in the garden. So I'm going to head out there. And I've got a fuchsia. A couple of fuchsia that I bought. I'm going to just... Um, stick it in one of the onion basket because I've I've never really plant do any type of planting in my onion basket this time of the year, but I'm going to do that today. I'm going to be doing that now. Uh, I'll take you guys along with me. But as I said, it is Friday, the twenty fifth of March, and in case you don't remember, it's twenty twenty two. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Let's go to the garden, you guys. Okay, as you can see, that's the onion basket there. I've been working on it. And this is the fuchsia. A few of the fuchsia that I bought. As you can see, that's a trailing one. So I think that will trail nicely over the onion basket. And, um, and over here are some of the annual. I don't remember the name of it. I have to go back in my videos and tell you what's the name of it that I planted last year in the onion basket but they are not dead they are still very much alive so I'm going to put those in the onion basket as well and see if they will come up this year because they're not dead they're not I know they look a bit dry but they are not dead so let me show you some of the annual that I told you that I planted last year and they're still you know doing their thing Look in this pot right here. Look at that. See? I don't even remember what the name of that annual is. But I'm going to go back in my videos and I will tell you what it is. I thought it was weed at first because I was going to clean it out when it was a little, little bit smaller. Then I realized, no, it was an annual that I planted last year. So I don't know what's the name of it. But there you go. That one is in blue. Yeah. And as you can see here, as I said, the tulips are popping through. They're looking so nice and so beautiful. And that one, of course, is already showing its beautiful color. Very nice. It smells so good. It's unbelievable. It smells really good. This one just blow up so fast and now it's kind of going but yeah beautiful and there are some daffodils that are still trying to come through so as i said the garden is just doing its own thing it's doing its own thing y'all guys yeah and of course down here the, the tulips as well I did tell you about this plant here that when it grew up and started to bloom oh beautiful it, it was going to look as you can see there that is so spectacular they're so tall maybe because I just put them into this deep pot here they definitely put on a show I'm right at this old here here over there some of those daffodils are going as you can see right there right at the far back and here's another one here that is looking really well looking gorgeous so yes as I said they are all operating in their own way yeah so let's go and put some fuchsia in that onion basket now y'all guys let's go so what I'm going to do here is 
the old compass that is in this hanging basket here, I'm going to take out some of it, not all of it. Because I'm not ready to plant up my hanging basket yet. I'm just like, you know, putting some fuchsia in this hanging basket here. Just to kind of have a little bit of color, you know, until I'm ready to plant up my hanging basket. So I'm just going to just take out some of the old compass and replace it with some fresh one on top and then i think <laughs> i'll just go ahead and plant the fuchsia in there i'm just trying to do things a little bit different this year because i'm just going along with how the garden is operating you know yeah i'm a bit confused trying to find the fuchsia oh there it is yeah so i'm just going along with how the garden is is operating with me this year because normally I will just, you know, plan um, what I'm going to be putting in my in basket. I normally do that each year. But I'm just not so sure how the weather is operating this year, as I said, because so many things are happening that never normally, you know, because today is the 25th of July, uh, July 25th of March. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. And that's and and you know it's so warm and sunny and and that is the the garden is operating in that way. It's just going along with how the weather is. So I'm just going to just work along with how the weather is operating. If I'm making any sense. <laughs> so as I said to yeah. you before, I've got some annual that didn't die off. So I'm going to repot them. Of course, in the hanging basket, and to see how they go. This will be a really learning experience for me. But I must say, um, in the past, I did have annual that did, you know, survive through the winter and did pretty well right through the summer. So I'm going to see how this one will work. They are a little bit dry looking, but they are still alive. They're still green stem that show me that they are alive and they were beautiful last year so what's the point of buying something new you know so right so that's the fuchsia there i do have a lot of faith in this fuchsia because it's going to spread and because with the fuchsia it flowers right back until the first frost so i think this onion basket might last right through you know, the old season. I'll give you, you know, I'll keep you up to date and let you know how it's getting on. Because, you know, the annuals sometimes, they bloom and they're beautiful and then they just go. So I'm definitely thinking that the future is a good choice at the moment. Yeah, I think it's a good choice. Because at least I will just have something beautiful in the iron basket right through the season. Yeah. And as I said, I will give you, um, I'll give you an update. Okay. So there is the iron basket, guys. It's all done. Going to give it some water. I didn't put any feed in there, but I've got some liquid feed. So I'm just going to give it some liquid feed. Yeah looks nice and tidy already i don't know if you guys remember a, um, a video i make i'll try and put it somewhere in, up um somewhere at the top there when i was planting up these daffodil yeah i um there's a story about that pot there i can't tell you now but i'll i'm sure if you go in my videos you will be familiar with this little pot here so i am very proud of how it comes out not 100%, but, you know, it's the first year. The second year to be more beautiful. And this little one down here, I have a story on it as well. Go in my videos, guys. You will see the story. I remember saying it looked like something that come from, you know, a backyard in Jamaica. <laughs> I was having a regret it because I just love the rustic look. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe how much the time I've run off. Oh my Lord. When I'm out in my garden, I lost trace of time. Seriously. 
and I need to come and cook my dinner. You know, today is Friday, as you know, but I'm going to be doing some fried chicken today. I'm going to make an attempt to make um, French fried chicken. <laughs> Because the last time I went to KC, I was so disappointed um, with what I got. I wasn't too happy. So I decided I'm going to, you know, make an effort. I think I can make French fry, classy Andrew style. When I was growing up, my mother used to make French fry. But I don't remember the recipe. But I was going to do it my way. Yeah. So here's my chicken. Well seasoned up, so I'm going to French fry it. Okay. So this is how I'm doing my French fry. That's the flour there. And what I did, I just dip it in it and just cover it over with some flour. Um, the flour that I have is an old mixture of this chicken, um, chicken fry mix here with some regular flour i mix it up together and so i'm just going to fry it you know i'm not going to go through the whole rigmarole of you know having the egg and you know what is it and dip it in water and all i don't really have time for that so it will be just as tasty okay and that's the part there i'm going to put some oil in there it looks really hot already anyway so let me get on with it now so this is the pot i am frying it into guys I do not have the like the proper round dot pot. I just have this one here. I call it my soup pot. But it's 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 made of cast iron. I'm not going to like fry it really really dry because I'm going to put it in the oven to bake as well. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing my fried chicken, y'all guys. It's going to be delicious. So okay, here's my dinner. This is my chips. I've got some coleslaw. I've got some roast corn. And of course, my French fried chicken, classy Andrew style. <laughs> and I, I like the back of the, the chicken, guys. I like the back. I like the bone and the leg. So that's what I've got in here. And I'm going to wash it down with some Jamaican ginger beer. Yeah. Can you see there? Old Jamaican ginger beer. Yeah. I am now logging off, you guys. If it's the first time here, please subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram. Classy Andrew, Classy Andrew. Leave a comment in the comment box. And I see you in my next video. Goodbye.